What's up, Red Raiders? It's Max Hinks, your sports editor. And I'm Chase Siebold, and I'm the managing editor, and this is Matador Express. So today, the Raider medical screening team is hosting their first meeting of the year at 5.30 in the sub at the plier room. Um, what they're going to do is they're going to host free diagnosis for early symptoms of diabetes, high cholesterol, and high blood pressure for all the people in the Lubbock surrounding area. On Friday, September 6th, the first Friday art trail will be in downtown Lubbock. It's a free event where you can go around and look at some local art. <laughs> the Texas Tech volleyball team will also be competing on Friday as they start the NU Under Armour Volleyball Tournament. The Red Raiders will start the tournament against SFA at 1 p.m. and then return later in the day to play Northwestern at 7.30 p.m. The volleyball team will conclude the tournament with a game against Austin P at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Also on Friday, the Texas Tech soccer team will take on Abilene Christian at 7 p.m. at home after just winning two straight home games last week. On Saturday at 7 p.m. at the Jones AT&T Stadium, the Texas Tech football team will play against UTEP. They're coming off a 45-10 win against Montana State, and Alan Bowman leads the FBS with 436 passing yards after last week's game. The last sporting event of the week will be on Sunday, September 8th, as the Tech soccer team We'll play again at home, taking on Arkansas State at 1 p.m. And then from now on until September 13th, Texas Tech Parking and Transportation Services will, are accepting Pop-Tart donations in exchange for ticket payments. Also, the last day to drop any classes without academic penalty will be on September 11th. Now for Pickle. So, last week, all of our readers and watchers now voted in our Pickle, and they finished... Three and two, so you're tied for ninth, a step above last place. As of this week, Max is in first place, and I'm in second place. Tied for second place. I am tied in second place with almost the rest of our editorial board. All right, that's all we have for y'all this week. See you next time on the Matador Express.